is the hour of the darkest place. Struck me need to work out. We have been pretty lazy for the last six weeks. Yeah, fuck it, come on, just don't. In this video, we're going to be showing you some of our tips and tricks that we use during a lockdown workout. By all means, we are not fitness instructors, but myself and my brother Adam are going to show you what we do to keep fit in our own home, and you're more than welcome to follow along. We're going to be using dumbbells and a big rusty like pole that we found in our garden, you'll see that later, but even just by putting books into your bag, anything that will give your muscle resistance, that's what you want to do. So you just basically want to find anything in your house that you can improvise with, then that can work, then I, I think you're good to go. <laughs> <laughs> now, of course, you need to start off with a warm up. Hey, everybody, right, okay, let's get ourselves warmed up, shall we? We're gonna run, jump, walk and spot. Let's go. We did. Warming up. Maybe not like that, but taking a small run around your garden or running and jumping on the spot if you are limited for space. Just be mindful of those neighbors if you are doing this inside. Oh, and don't forget those stretches. Now, like I said before, we are not fitness instructors, but we did get majority of our information from the book called Anatomy of Exercise by Pat Manichia. Here's that rusty bar I mentioned earlier. If you have one, great. This exercise is called barbell squats. Keep that core body engaged and keep your back straight. Best for your glutes and your quads. If you don't have a rusty bar, that's okay. You can do this with a dumbbell or that bag of books we talked about earlier. This exercise is called goblet squats. That also works on most of the muscle groups mentioned with the barbell squats. Next up is everyone's favorite, the bicep curl. This one works great with a dumbbell as demonstrated here by Adam working on that bicep muscle. Bring in the bag of books and it works exactly the same. Don't forget to keep that core engaged. Our third exercise will certainly need a bit of improvisation as we've done here with a couple of chairs and a plank of wood. The bench press uses that rusty bar of ours again. This workout is best for the pecs as well as your deltoids and triceps. Don't worry, the dumbbells come in handy too and of course that bag of books. Here's another example of what you can use just by having a look in your garden. Adam here explains how one more item in your household can be of use for this exercise. If you don't have all of those things, one thing we do have, friend beer. Now, we're gonna start benching with this. Here we go. Now, if you're doing this every single day, you might think that you're getting stronger. That's not the case, my friend. You're just drinking every day, so the beer box is actually getting lighter. If this can't be done in your home, push-ups work just as well and covers more muscle groups. Keep that core engaged. No equipment needed for this exercise and the front plank does wonders for your core. Just keep it engaged. But not just your core, your deltoids, pecs, quads and tibias anterior get a workout too. What will we do? Make it easier by putting your knees on the ground and lifting your forelegs or make it harder by adding more weight to your back. <laughs> Getting near the end now, we've brought that rusty bar back into play. The overhead press can be done standing up or sitting down, however you feel comfortable. This exercise will give your deltoids and triceps a good workout. Garden slate works well too, as well as the dumbbell and that bag of books to give those muscles some resistance. We're now going to start doing some uh, pull-ups and uh, mostly to work on our back muscles. So here we go. You have a go. So, as Adam mentioned here, chin-ups will give your trapezius, teres muscle group and latissimus dorsi a good workout. Having your hands facing towards you also works your biceps. Hands away from you works your triceps. And don't forget, keep that core engaged. I hope you've enjoyed our video for our tips and tricks for a lockdown workout. Here's Adam one more time with a final note. That about wraps up all of our exercises we've shown you today. Now one thing that's really important when you're doing all these exercises is to keep your core muscles tight and engaged. Oh! I didn't keep it engaged. <sighs> so if you've actually liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, hit that subscribe button as well if you're enjoying these videos. Um, thanks, we'll see you next time.